Keith, it's always wonderful to see you. What made you want to be involved tonight? Oh, it's weird, actually, because years ago I used to be an actor. I mean, I started my career as an actor. I did, like, seven films. I did Plansky's Macbeth. I did The Optimist with Peter Sellers. And uh, more recently, I sort of did some movies uh, or some things with uh, Ricky Gervais, like Extras and uh, a, a whole host of other things. So when they invited me to come and do something like this, I thought, yeah, why not? And I'm presenting the Drama Award tonight. So a little bit nervous and uh, some, uh, well... Great people have been nominated, so who knows? Obviously, a lot of people might not know that you shared the screen with greats like Peter Sellers. Can you just talk about those experiences? Yeah, I had some great experiences. I mean, you know, uh, when I was a kid, I mean, I did films with Richard Wattis, Roy Kinnear, uh, Martin Shaw taught me to play guitar when I was doing Plancy's Macbeth, uh, Francesca Annis, uh, Peter Sellers, a whole host of people, really. So, yeah, I mean, I made seven movies all in all. I did quite a lot for the Children's Film Foundation, but that's all gone now. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, some big movies. I mean, it's quite embarrassing, actually, because Plancy's Macbeth, is actually used because uh, people study it for A level, you know. And I went to see it at Swiss Cottage about four years ago, and my name comes up 13th on the screen. And I was so embarrassed because somebody in the audience, as my name came up, said, Oh god, not bloody Jaggers. <laughs> Well, it's funny, really, because uh, when I did extras with Ricky Gervais, uh, he phoned me up and he said, look, I don't want you to play Keith Chagrin, I want you to play a caricature or, or a character. Uh, he said, can you act? So, so I basically auditioned for Ricky Gervais and, um, and it was wonderful to do. And then he phoned me up again and said, we're doing Life's Too Short. Would you like to take part in that? And I did. And then he phoned me up again and said, I'm doing another Life's Too Short. And I said, well, who else is in it? He said, well, so far we've got Johnny Depp, uh, Liam Neeson, and uh, you. <laughs> so, so it's a real compliment to be asked by somebody who's such a great writer uh, to act or be trusted in one of his sort of like productions. I mean, obviously, um, I mean, Ricky's done great things for Warwick. Have you had a word with him about giving you your own show? Because I think we'd love to see, we'd love to see the, 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 the extras and the Life Too Short Cheggers uh, taken to fruition. Oh, I don't know. I really admire the guy, I really do. And he's so busy. I mean, for Life's Too Short, we got the script a year in advance. Um, but he's fantastic. I mean, he really is. I mean, you know, he's one of our greatest exports. And I admire him so much. And his writing skills are second to none. So, you know, a real dream to work with a man with such calibre. What else are you working on at the moment yourself? Um, oh, God, I've got a secret that I can't tell you that I'm starting tomorrow. <laughs> and a few other bits and bobs, but yeah, normal Keith Chagwin pop up here and there. Is it a TV secret? Uh, yeah, it is, and you'll know about it. <laughs> and my final question, you've got a message for fans out there, because everyone loves a bit of Chagwin. Uh, yeah, hey, thanks for supporting me on Big Brother, and uh, thanks for supporting me for my whole career. I can't thank you enough. Well, hey.